Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use the new camera collage template in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. A Doodly user recently asked us if we have a collage template. Well, we don't have exactly what he had in mind. So I took it upon myself to create one and I thought I'd show it to you today as well as go over some of the idiosyncrasies of it. So let's take a look. Make sure you're in the templates tab. And if you'd like, you can just search for the word collage. And it's right here, the camera collage. Let's give it a name. This is a free template. So I'm just gonna do camera collage demo. Click create. And this brings the entire template into your Doodly software. So everything you see here has already been created. If I hit preview, I won't play the whole thing for you, but basically the camera goes, it starts here, goes to our first bullet point, and then to the second one, and then it moves down here to the third, then across to the fourth, up to the fifth, and then it zooms out to show this entire thing. And then I have a second scene, let's see, right here, with three more key points, and the camera will, again, go through those, and then it goes to this last one with the most important point. Now this is pretty straightforward. It has some music. You can change that, of course, if you'd like. And it also has all of these elements that you can change. Now, one of the most important things before you do anything with this is be aware that any changes you make to the timing, if you add delays or duration changes, it's going to affect the placement of the camera moves. And that means if you start over here, early on, let's go to preview, and you make a change early on that adds or removes time, all of these camera movements are gonna get off. They're gonna get out of sync and you're gonna have to make adjustments. So let's do an example. Let's take this girl, let's make it 10 seconds. And if we play it, See how the camera movement is, it's all jacked up. It should still be focused on our girl. So we would have to make adjustments, not only to this camera movement, this should be on her, all of the ones down below, okay, that come to follow it. So I'm gonna keep it at three seconds and I'm not gonna make any changes to my timing. So let's just make a quick video here. We're going to call it my favorite foods. And then we're just going to edit these. So I'm going to say hamburgers. Over here I'm going to say tacos. Over here I'm going to say salad. Let's say pizza. And let's see, ice cream. Now let's add our foods. So again, keeping in mind, I have six seconds here, so I wanna do six seconds. So let's go to props and let's go hamburgers. So here's a burger. I'm gonna replace this and that will preserve my timing. I can make it larger and now I have this, I need three seconds. So I could put maybe French fries. Let's see if we have fries. Yeah, so I could do this. I could do that and replace that. So I want, yes, replace hamburger and fries. Okay, and then you would do the same thing for scene two. And you would just fill those in. And then on your last thing, whatever it is that you want to make your key point, so let's just take a look at our first scene and you'll see what I'm talking about.
okay and then it's just gonna switch to your favorite veggies and so on now what if you did change the timing how would you work with that so let's say I did not want the french fries so let's hit delete and that's gonna change my timing it's gonna be three seconds off so let's move my hamburger over so now if we do preview it's staying on here way too long and this one's almost done because of the three second difference you notice that so this all these camera moves after this so here's my first one this is fine but it probably hovers here too long and then this one the positioning is fine but it comes in three seconds too late so you're at almost 10 seconds so you need to be at like here almost seven seconds and then this needs to be quite a bit shorter like so so now if we were to preview it now it should move okay and that's fine that's perfect but now all of these are going to need to be moved down three seconds. So we're at 15.2, so we need to be at 12.2. Okay, so just move that over three seconds. We're at 20.3, so we need to be at 17.3. And then this is 25.123, so 22, 23. And you just move them all down three seconds each and it is very tedious I will tell you that but I want you to be aware of this so that you know how to deal with it and there you have it that's how you can use the camera collage template in doodly I hope this gives you some ideas thank you for watching Bye.